Hey guys, it's weird to be in a different location here. Um, I saw that the next Vita that I could possibly do is show everybody how to cook something, but I don't actually have the... I don't have my little mobile camera to cook anything, and I don't feel like taking this into multiple parts and editing it in, so... I guess I could do that. Maybe sometime I'll do it, but not today. So, please excuse the mess of this bedroom. I am going to show you guys something that I knitted a long, a long time ago, and um, I'm going to actually tell you how I made it and everything. So, this is something I knitted last year, and it's white and black and gray, and that's it. <laughs> It's really soft, stretchy, and what it is, even though it looks like a little tube of fabric, is... Let me get it on. I forget. Um, it's kind of like... It was an infinity scarf, or it was supposed to be an infinity scarf, or a cowl. And a cowl is basically like a scarf or something that can go over your head, and this can, indeed, go over your head. <laughs> so... I forget what I called it on Ravelry. I think I called it like the. At first, I called it the marvelously flawed monochromatic uh, scarf or cowl. But right now, I actually ended up fixing it since when it was wondrously flawed. It had like a bunch of stitches that were like out of place and everything. But um, this one is actually. I think all the stitches are correct, if I'm not mistaken. It's really soft because it was made out of. Um, lion brand yarn, um, really thick, chunky yarn, and it's just fantastic. Um, it hasn't been, what is the word for it? It hasn't been blocked, which means it hasn't been soaked and pinned and allowed to, like, stretch out to what it should be, so every now and again it's a bit tight. If I would have put more stitches on it, then it would have fit, like, better, but right now it's actually pretty good, and you can actually, like, use like whatever part for the cowl, it doesn't matter. It's basically just a big scarf thing. So yeah, this is this. And I actually uh, wrote it down in a project on Ravelry, which I will link in the description below. Um, sometime I will make a knitting video for you guys, and I might even do some stitch and bitch videos, which are even like me or anybody. Stitch and bitch is typically anybody. Um, knitting something together and talking while they do it and it's just I don't know I don't know when it started but that is just a thing apparently some people have them on YouTube so you can look them up and see what a stitch and bitch is and what they talk about um, one in particular that I ended up seeing somebody was knitting the uh, fourth doctor's scarf while they were talking about different things um, so yeah it's an interesting way to vlog and knit at the same time which I really want to get into doing because Currently, that, I think, is my only project that I have. I've done a couple headbands for my nieces before. Um, I don't know. I really like knitting. I just have to find the time to do it. So, yeah, that is that. I will put a link to uh, the Ravelry project page in the description below. And I will actually link you to my Ravelry... Well, you can find my Ravelry profile. I can't even say Ravelry together with anything, the R's just blah. <laughs> you can find a link to my profile on the projects thing if you actually knit or you actually have a Ravelry. Um, or you're in, I want to get into knitting and you want like a bunch of patterns, Ravelry is the site. You can even buy stuff uh, through there and stuff. So if you ever want to check it out, then check it out. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to get on to my next video and keep on planning another video that I want to do. So, bye.